Well, it's a hot afternoon across South Mississippi. It's still pretty warm out there at the moment. 90 degrees up at Jones College in Ellisville with a heat index of 106. But notice the dark skies. We got a little shower that's popped up just to the east of Jones College out towards Tucker's Crossing. And we'll show you that in a second on Sky Cam. And it's still hot up in Laurel. Same temperature, 90 degrees. Feels like 106 out there. A hot evening as we overlook Highway 15 there on the northern side of town. But again, we do have some showers that are moving in from the north. And here's a live look at what's going on. Center Pine Electric Radar, we've been watching this complex of showers and thunderstorms move out of Meridian. It's fell apart, but the outflows triggered some new thunderstorm development. So you can see out here towards uh, just to the north of Silverina, Bay Springs, down to Heidelberg, Shibuta. This is moving kind of from the north towards the south. So we could see this make it all the way down to 84. We'll have to see if it can make it further further south than that. Meanwhile, just to the east of Ellisville towards Suckers Crossing, there's that little shower there near Myrick and another one just kind of sitting around Obet with a lightning strike. But that's really about it this evening. And then there's one more thunderstorm that's moving over Leakesville and then more showers and thunderstorms over Alabama. So we'll keep a small chance of rain in the forecast, about a 20 to 30% chance through 8 o'clock. Otherwise, you're going to stay partly cloudy. Temperatures will fall into the low 80s by 9 to 10 o'clock this evening. Another warm evening here across South Mississippi. Tomorrow you're going to be out there doing the yard work. Do it in the morning. That's the best advice I can say. Get up, do it in the morning, get it done before noon because it's going to be another horrendously hot day. Highs will top out into the mid 90s. We'll make it up to 96 in Hattiesburg, but it could be a little hotter in other places of the Pine Belt. How hot? Well, up to 97, 98, even 99 in some of our western areas out towards Columbia and Bassfield. So the heat definitely going to be on here across South Mississippi for your Saturday. But when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel even hotter. It's going to feel as hot as 108, 110, 112 with the heat index tomorrow. So definitely be careful if you're doing anything outside. If you're cutting grass, drink plenty of water. Just take it easy as we go into your Saturday. Sunday will still be just as hot, but we'll have a slightly better chance of some hit or miss showers. Notice that 30% chance of rain, 95 Sunday. Showers will pop up after church, so I think you'll make it home before these showers will pop up. And again, daytime heating, these will move in across the area and then they'll fade away once we lose that daytime heating. But if this heat is not hot enough for you, don't worry, because it's going to get hotter next week. So if you want it to be hotter, well, you're in luck because we're going to see that heat bubble slide off towards the east. It'll park itself over portions of Oklahoma and that'll put us much closer to it. And that's going to crank up our temperatures. We're going to see them jump from the mid 90s to the upper 90s, getting up to 97, 98 as we go into next week. A good chunk of next week will be close to 100. So it's definitely going to be sweltering hot and those rain chances disappear as well. All right, Patrick, thanks. Well, with all this hot 